Hey, this is Tyler Wagner with uh, Keller Williams here at Lot 4 on Green Bay Road. Um, standing here on Green Bay Road, it's super accessible, uh, county maintained on this road. And here is the road uh, traveling out the direction towards Green Bay or to the south and to the east. Anyway, um, this is a driveway that Lot 3 has access to. And so it would make a lot of sense to share their driveway if possible to access your property. This is their shed. Um, and then right here along the road would be your easement towards the community drain field, go in that direction. And then this is looking on to lot four. Uh, this is lot three's underground electrical box. And so as we walk down here, we can see the, your electrical box for lot four right on the corner of your property. And here is uh, the corner pin marking the northeast corner of your property. So Green Bay Road is right there traveling along. It is a little bit of above the property, but totally doable for a driveway. And you can see right on your kind of your property line here, this is this is kind of a, a drainage. So it flows kind of down through this direction. There's no water flowing through here now. It's not very wet. Um, it should stay dry pretty much year round. Um, and then you've got a pretty heavily wooded property with cedar, with fir, and it's gently sloping. Your most likely building site is going to be, well, we'll walk, see if we can get over there and get to it. But you've got some pretty heavily downed trees as well. But I can also see your other corner marker over here. So we are walking along Green Bay Road up to my left and then I'm guessing this is your other corner this would be the pin for your southeast corner so this is going to be your most likely um, kind of building area is probably to clear some trees and do some land leveling in this area because you're up above the drainage and staying high and dry over here. Um, it's only an acre, so they do have that north line marked. And let's see if we can find your other southwest corner here. You've got um, neighbors that are going to be to the south of you, but they're up the hill a ways. I can't see them from here. You've got some neighbors that are downhill from you to the west. And again, I can't see them from here. There's your corner straight ahead. So your most usable land is going to be closer to Green Bay. In fact, here's an access to the back of your property, I believe. So somebody has built, at least come through here with machinery, probably accessing the western side of this property. Here is a marker. I don't, there must be a pin somewhere in there. But then I can see, as I look straight across, there's another underground power that is either yours or the neighbors to the west. And this should be your other corner here. You see, yeah, we've got a corner here. You can see lot three is to the left of this. And you can see lot four is to the right of this. So you do own the lowlands in the neighborhood here. So um, you're just going to want to stay up on this gentle hillside over here um, when you do decide to build and use your land. So um, you do have a nice kind of walkable area along the side of your, along the northern edge of your property here. And you've got some 
we got a few cedars and big trees worth pulling out and probably getting a little money for that you can likely trade for some dirt work so um anyway that's kind of the tour of this lovely one acre on green bay road and um check it out let me know what you think all right bye, -bye.